I am next level stressed. Ah! Welcome back to the moving series. In this video, we're gonna be packing up my beloved studio apartment. We're gonna be moving tomorrow morning. Guess what time it is? What time is it? Time of our life. 3.30 in the afternoon. Long story short, my ass was on this very plane back to New York from Czech Republic. That didn't even make it 10 seconds off the ground before its right engine failed. Delta 7 er emergency aircraft uh, engine failed. We'll uh, call you back. We'd like straight out. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. But then I was just annoyed they tried to fly us over the Atlantic in a 33-year-old airplane. I'm only 31 and my knees pop going up the stairs. I'm just really grateful that happened when we were so close to the airport. The next flight out was 6.30 tomorrow morning. So yeah, it wasn't the plan at all to only have half a day to pack up my life, but that's what I get for taking vacation right before moving. But hey, if this didn't happen, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to go to Paris for a whole two hours and get coffee from Prêt à Manger and then make prolonged eye contact with any man over six feet tall that walks by me. It was fun. I'm not sure if this is the plane engine, but I'm going to tell myself it is because it looks sturdy AF. I'm looking a little distraught here because upon touching the ground at JFK airport, the plane went straight back up into the air and nobody knew why. I found out later it's because another airplane was just chilling on the landing runway and yeah that would have been bad but yeah other than all that the trip was great so now we've gone from two packing days to less than one i'm just happy to be back i just got home 20 minutes ago maybe i hopped in the shower i walked in this apartment and i don't know it just it just didn't feel like home anymore and that's the first time I still have a lot to process, clearly. But this is what the to-do list is looking like. I have to pay rent. New person's moving in on the 15th, so I have to pay half month. Now, after I drop off rent, I have to go to my new neighborhood and pick up my keys. So I have to leave, like, right meow. And then I have to go to an ATM to get cash for the movers tomorrow. Because it's cheaper if you pay all in cash. Thank God I have movers. They come at 9.30 tomorrow morning. The moving company has a mattress bag, which is great. Oh, I have to add get newspaper to wrap the glass in. I have to add do laundry because my new place doesn't have have washer dryer. I have a dryer, but okay. I have to figure out Wi-Fi and stuff for my new place. Tonight's my last night in this apartment. I mean, I'm going to be back next weekend to repaint. So right now let's just pay rent and get the F out of here so we can come back and like actually get everything done. You know, I wouldn't be a vlog if I wasn't completely Virgoing, right? Almost forgot to introduce myself. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I am just your average 30 something who is moving out of her studio apartment into a new place because don't tell her I said this. She's in her boss bitch era right now. Anyways, I just like to make cute fun videos showcasing my life here in the most realistic way possible to give you a taste of what it's really like to live here or just to hang out with me if you want nothing to do with New York City. I got plain snacks I can eat on the subway. Yeah, I got cookies. <laughs> Disclaimer, I am learning from watching this footage back that I get really bossy and controlling and complainy when I'm stressed, so sorry in advance. It's definitely something to work on, but just know I'm doing my best to stay positive. I think we've got everything. Let's get out of here. It's so weird to be back here. I'm exhausted. It's 7.40. That took so long. Everything was delayed and then I called my mom. I feel like I don't have a brain anymore. I've lost all wit and charm. I am now a robot. <laughs> Maybe I just need to get warmed up. Okay, well we're here. Went to CVS or Walgreens or whatever. We've got like all new sponges. I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning on our back next weekend. And I got a coffee for tomorrow morning because I'm smart. And I got a root beer for right now. Tomorrow morning, I have to go to the bank and get the cash removers. I think this is gonna take me a while. <laughs> I wanna set a goal of being in bed by 1 a.m. I think I can do it, but it was so good to see the new place. I'm really excited, it feels like a fresh start. I just can't believe this is my last night here. Gloves, we got more Swiffer wipes. We got these things for the shower, and then a ton of garbage bags, black ones for put everything in. Oh, you know what? I, pro oh, I forgot to get newspaper to wrap 
the like all of my dishes in. I have all of these pee pads from when I had a bunny rabbit that I've never used. I think these are perfect for wrapping dishes in. I'm that's that's innovation. We're feeling okay. We're waking up. Where's the IKEA bag? I have two IKEA bags. Where could the other one be? My room is so small. How could those get lost? Nor. <laughs> No. Aha. Perfect. Sheets, how many quarters do I have? I should have gone to the bank. I really could have used yesterday instead of my flight being canceled. Aha, okay. All jokes aside, I've been trying to figure out why leaving this place has been so emotional for me. I think that while living in this little cocoon for the last three years has given me a very necessary safe space, it has also enabled my introverted tendencies way too much. For a long time, I fully believed the classic, why live in New York if you're not gonna be out doing literally everything all the time mentality because I lived that for several years. It came to a point that I was consistently overstimulated and felt unnecessary pressure, which wasn't sustainable for me. And I had to slow down if I wanted to stay here, which I did and I'm glad I did. But in this space, I got really comfortable hiding, especially when going through hard times, which was a good chunk of the last three years for me on top of a lot of highs, don't get me wrong. Maybe you can relate. Sometimes. I feel safest in my sadness because I learned happiness is so fleeting you feel like you just can't fully enjoy it since it's usually followed by hurt and disappointment but through all the loss I've experienced here I was able to feel the strength of my solitude and that calming peace it brought me which deepened my understanding of what true happiness feels like to me and I couldn't have realized that if I hadn't been supported by these walls while it is small and very dark in here I have a deep appreciation for it literally holding space for me when I needed it oh man there's so many good things about this apartment. Please don't cry, Chelsea. Not yet. Sit in the lawn for 30 minutes from now. The next thing we're putting in the wash is the bedding. Usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. All of these and this and this are all my journals. I think from the last 15 years. Yeah, they're all completely full. Don't text your ex happy birthday. Don't do it. Oh, it's my first camera, my first vlogging camera. The Canon G7X Mark II. Let's see if it still makes that noise. Still broken. You know what? This breaking was the best thing that happened to my channel. I got the new one and my channel has gone from Zero to a hundred. For me, all it took was a little bit of investing. I'm not throwing these away. We're just putting everything in garbage bags. There's a lot of things I never wear and I just don't want to throw them away. So I'm going to make like a box of free stuff. Maybe people in my building will want it. Like these shoes, I never wear these. Are these even cute? Like, can you picture me wearing these shoes? I don't think these are flattering on me. Yeah, I haven't worn these in a year, so I'm gonna give them away. I have to remind myself that it's gonna look worse before it gets better. It's nine o'clock. We're, we're getting there, one, one step at a time. Remember these? Wow. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. I'm actually starting to not feel that good. So I ordered Domino's, some like cheesy bread and a salad. I am also six hours ahead right now, so it's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, it's okay. This is a really exciting moment. I just wish I was more awake for it, you know? I feel like I can't sit down anymore. I have to stay standing. Thank you. You too. That was a good idea.
<laughs> One pepperoni. A single roni. I'm looking at you, Domino's. Maybe they're supposed to be inside. You know, maybe I got this. Maybe I'm, I'm confused. Oh yeah, I think they are supposed to be inside. <laughs> yeah, they're inside. Very hot. My bedding's in the dryer. You have to get it. You know what? You stay here and watch the pizza. I'll go run down to stairs and get the laundry, okay? Go team! Okay, laundry's done. I don't know, you guys. I envisioned this whole thing happening a lot different. I didn't think it would feel so rushed. I thought my Pisces moon and rising self would have more time to process. It just feels very weird. Pizza is very fitting though. It's like the perfect last night in an apartment meal. I don't have to figure out like Wi-Fi for tomorrow. I don't know if my new building is is uh, Spectrum. Maybe I can find out online. Is it too late to call Spectrum at 10.30 at night on a Saturday on a holiday weekend? I don't know. You know, I realized that maybe y'all have sort of attached yourself to this apartment too. How are you feeling about this? I mean, are you ready for another chapter? Yes, it's something else. No. If you'd like to hear me, no. please press one now. No. Then let's get back to why you were calling today. In a few words, please. I'm moving. Yes. Okay, let me transfer you to a customer service representative. Thank you for calling Spectrum. This is Shannon. How can I help you today? So I'll help you uh, set up your services at your new location. Great. But I just moved last year and I'm not picking up any more boxes. I'm just going to land it right now. Oh. Not doing that. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, are you serious? Oh, wait. <laughs> got it. You're good. It's late. I'm running out of jokes. Yeah, bear with me. All right, so who do I have the pleasure of seeing with today? And then how about the security code? Oh, um, ooh. Just letting you know that if someone offered me $1,000 to tell them what my security code was, I'd have got no idea. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> it took long enough, I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> me too, honestly. <laughs> I'm like a 15 minute hunt, that was fun. Okay, congratulations on your move. Hopefully it's a happy move. Yes, right? yes, very happy. Uh, bigger place? Yes, indeed. Nice! Uh, <laughs> Dude, that took so much longer than I thought it was going to. That was 35 minutes on the phone with Spectrum. But it's good now. You can tell when people are really passionate about their job. That guy was very passionate. He was just like a genuinely nice person. So that was really cool. This paycheck brought me back to life just enough to 11 o'clock. Can we do this? We can do this. I'm like fighting the tiredness and fighting a little bit of sadness. If you also live in New York, what have your experiences been like moving around this city? Do you have any one big piece of advice that you'd be willing to share? This is crazy. My seven year New York anniversary is coming up in October. I can't believe it's been so long, but at the same time, I also can't believe I made it this long. I simply do not remember who I was before I came here. And I don't even want to remember at this point. Going to spend this last week in Prague was really healing for me. If you didn't know, I used to live there before I moved to New York. But you know that feeling of going to visit your high school after being gone for years, and then suddenly all those memories come rushing back? It's going in a black bag, which means I'm bringing it with me. I'm not throwing the food away. It was a big wake up call that I love who I used to be, but I'm not her anymore. And maybe when I go back years down the line, my future self will feel the same about this version of me. We're stopping for the night. It's really hot in here, so I have my AC going. We are like 85% done. I'm confident in the morning I will be able to finish the job. I'm just gonna get up early. Look at the progress. Garbage. Clothes. Garbage. Everything in the white bag is garbage. Oh! All the closets are cleared out. I have like the kitchen stuff, or sorry, the bathroom stuff. That's it. All my shit. Wow. Everything in the kitchen's cleared out too. I haven't done anything in the bathroom yet. So I think we're in pretty good shape. I'm gonna take off my makeup and crash. See you tomorrow. I've been pacing my pace in the kamikaze. I've been making my makers say what I'm offering. We've all had behaviors and they've troubling. Smoke way too much, I keep coughing. I pull at all the stops to make a profit. When I get down Dude, it's actually incredible what seven hours of sleep can do. I feel so much better. I think the second I turned the lights off last night, I was asleep. Okay, now it's 7.30. Movies will be here in two hours. Gonna get my bathroom together, definitely. It's so hard to find places to walk. It's okay. That's the theme of the day. It's okay. I hope these movers aren't cute because I'm not looking cute. I'd say that as I make a video looking like a thumb for thousands of people and I'm worried about how I look for three movers. Interesting. I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor and I'm on the force and you use the 
the force, there's no problem I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud And you can't sit still when we on the floor And I'm on the force, when you use the force, there's no problem I'm so excited for my next place. Ooh, booty. I'm so excited for my next place because there's a window in the shower. I've always wanted that to prevent mold. Not that I have mold or anything. I'm not sure if I want to get a new shower curtain for the new place. The bathroom is blue, like baby blue. I'm keeping all of my like really important stuff in my backpack, my work computer. That would not be good. One thing I really loved about this apartment was just how quiet Besides the neighbors, it's just been really nice to live in Harlem and not have to hear the outside of it. It just felt kind of like a oasis a little bit. I think I should go out and get the cash before it gets too close to the time. I think this is my last walk around Harlem for now until next weekend, but officially while I'm still living here. Damn. I say that as I crossed a bunch of poop on the street. Get me out of here. What's for breakfast, y'all? Pizza. Never, never. Just taking a moment. I really hope the next person here will love it as much as I did. I still think moving was the right idea. It's good that I think that <laughs> based on what's happening today. Well, you guys, there's not much more packing to do. Everything's done. Stay tuned for the next video because you're gonna see me move into the new place. Woo! Cheers to a new chapter. Pretty chair. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe because we have a lot more moving content coming. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Take this all in. We're moving. Woo. I love you. Bye.